Hi everyone, welcome back to my styling videos. Uh, today is a little bit more exciting. We are posting on YouTube for the first time ever. Um, so there's probably a load of you out there who don't even know who I am. So um, let's start at the beginning. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist and a personal shopper. Um, I also run a styling academy here in Wiltshire, which is where I teach others how to become personal stylists. So this is people who want a career styling real women. And real women are the only people I style these days. So that's everyone out there like you and I, lumps, bumps, tall, short, and everything in between. So all of my styling videos are focused on that. Um, another common theme across all of my videos is that I'm obsessed with creating a capsule wardrobe and dressing for your body shape. If you don't dress for your body shape, I don't care what you what dress you buy, how expensive it is, or how great it looks on somebody else. If it's not suitable for your body shape, then you may as well throw it away because it's not worth having. Um, a capsule wardrobe. This is the notion where everything mixes and matches together per, uh, perfectly. And this is what I strive to do with all of my, uh, my clients is create this capsule wardrobe so that getting dressed every day is really easy for them. And one thing that helps nicely on cue, the capsule wardrobe, is your winter outerwear. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So it's been a video that's been requested for a long time. Um, so I've done loads of online shopping. I've looked at all the best coats, jackets, um, and we're talking coats and jackets for walking the dog in, um, going to see friends, um, a nice evening out, and everything in between. Okay, so let's get started straight away. Um, as you can see, very unusually for me, I've got a couple of black jackets lined up um, here, first of all. Now this is the one of um, probably the most common colour of jacket I see in all my clients' houses. Um, and actually, it's probably the first jacket that goes, mainly because of the colour. If you don't wear much makeup, if you're chucking it on to do the school run when you've got your, you know, half got your PJs on and things like that, then a black jacket is really, really draining. Um, it's only if you're quite a glamorous person can you really pull black off. But that said, I've got three really nice ones to show you today. Um, this one is actually my own, um, and you can tell because it's covered in dog hairs. That's disgusting. Um, this one is from Zara. I think it was 129, and it's part of their um, handmade collection. Just see how well you can see that up in the um, camera. It's really, really beautifully made, but it's not going to break the bank. And it's obviously based on the military style. Now, this style comes back every single year. And the key with these is that they don't need to be just saved for best. Yes, it will go over a dress really nice for an evening out or a pair of trousers and will look really good. Um, but equally, as some of the images that hopefully are popping up on the screen now, we'll be showing you, I wear that with a little stripy tee, um, some Converse boots, some big black heavy boots. I would even wear that with, say, a hoodie underneath and some cargo pants. So you don't need to save that for best. Um, I find when I go to clients' wardrobes, I reckon probably 75% of their wardrobe is for best and it's, they're dressing for their fantasy life rather than their real life. So if their fantasy life means that they've got all these gorgeous pieces that they only wear once every month, I make sure that I restyle them so they can wear them as many times as they want during the week. So that's the first one and that's Zara. Now, um, I say that's great, but sometimes, I don't know, I'm walking around town all day doing shopping or something, and that's just a little bit too heavy to sit in the car in and go around the shopping center. So, is a shorter version of it. So more of a blazer style jacket, but it means you can interchange between the two really seamlessly. So if I'm going out in the evening, I might just pop that on over my shoulders and it looks really nice, whether again, a little stripy tee or just a plain white top. 
um, it's got the same sort of gold detail on and that always makes an item look quite expensive. Again, it's Zara, love Zara. I don't know what I would do without a Zara. And I have had both of these, let me tell you, in a size small. Um, in fact, Zara's coats this year are coming up massive. I ordered in a load and I'm a, probably an eight to 10 on top and a good size 10 on the bottom and I'm five foot, I was about to say I'm five foot four, but I'm not really, I'm about five foot three. Um, so usually a small in Zara would be fine on something like a jacket. I was ordering the extra small and they were huge. And it's mainly in the, the ones that have got no structure in. So sort of the raglan shoulders and the oversized version. So if you do buy a winter coat from Zara this year, size down, probably buy about two sizes, unless it's quite a structured jacket. So these two would be classed as quite structured, okay? Okay, so next up, completing the run of black jackets is a leather. So we've got a heavier winter one, we've got a more of a blazer style one, and now we've got the everyday leather jacket. Now, I've got loads of leathers because I love them, and I range from something like this, which is quite bikey, to a really lovely buttery um, grey one from Jaeger, which, oh, it's so lovely, um, but it's a little bit more of a refined style where this is a little bit bikery, maybe chasing my youth perhaps a little bit in this one, but I like it. I like putting it with some joggers. I like putting it with um, a dress in the evening. And I sometimes think that as we get older, I'm, what am I? I actually forgot how old I was the other day and I was actually younger than I said I was. So I think I'm 46. Yeah, I'm 46. Um, and kind of at our age, there's a little bit of a fine line between frumpy mummy and yummy mummy. And sometimes um, when I'm feeling a little bit more frumpy than yummy, uh, which is probably most of the time, stick on a leather jacket and it just makes me feel a little bit, I don't want to say cooler because my daughter will watch this video and just roll her eyes. Um, but I think every every wardrobe should have one of these and I try and incorporate a leather into most of my clients' wardrobes. I think they're really handy. Now, I say I've got one from Jaeger and the Whistles one, both really, really nice brands. However, this one, which is my favorite one, it's got really nice detailing all around, was from Amazon and I think it was £69 on a prime next day delivery. Really, really nice soft leather. And I reckon if that had a Reese tag in or a Whistles tag, then nobody would be none the wiser. Or a, it looks more like an All Saints one, I suppose. But that's brilliant. So um, the three jackets there give you a jacket of the same colour to mix and match, but depending on what you're actually doing that day, you've got something to change into. So in some days, some days I could come in and I could be in all three jackets at some point during um, my day. So moving on to something that I would recommend more for most of my clients. And if you do want to go down a darker colour route, then um, I would suggest going for navy. This coat is beautiful. It is a Reese coat. It's, I think it was about, they've actually, for some reason, covered up the price. I think it was about 289. Um, but depending on when you're watching this video, there, are, there was 20% off the site at the moment. Um, it's a beautiful 100% wool, so it's going to keep you really, really nice and warm. It's got the ties on, um, almost like a dressing gown style of jacket. Um, there's a lot of these dressing gown styles of jackets. However, be really careful. The difference between this one and many of them out there is that this one has still got a structured shoulder shape. And if you make sure that your jacket fits you on the shoulders, it's most probably going to fit everywhere else as well. But the ones that have less structure on, so more of a baggier, oversized look, 
and they have the tie around here, then they literally do end up looking like a dressing gown. Um, I bought several for this video and they all went back. Um, but this one just gives such a lovely relaxed shape to it. Um, and I think it's a favorite and I will probably keep it. So yeah, so that's Reese. And in fact, every year Reese do similar styles and they're always guaranteed um, to be lovely. And yes, it is pricier, but again, hopefully some of the clips at the side here are showing you, you don't have to keep it for best. You can wear it with every other combination as well, okay? So next up, we're going into the camel coats. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I love a camel coat. I love a camel cardigan, um, beige camel, darker, sort of more autumny brown. I love all of those. I think they look really, really classic. And if there's any sort of colour way that I would um, sort of encourage my clients to go down, it is more down this sort of route, the camel colour, because they just go really, really nicely with whites, blues, and sort of all the main staple colours. So first one today is Oh, this one was really surprising, actually. So this is, as you can see, a teddy coat, but it's really, really nice and long. And it is, can you see that? It's so soft. Now, Topshop are doing a teddy coat again this year. They've been around for, for a couple of years now. And Topshop are doing one that has sort of been everywhere, sold out, all of that. And I bought that for, for the rail and it just wasn't that nice it just the problem with these um, bigger coats again they're just so oversized that it doesn't help you to dress for your body shape and you really do look bigger than you actually are um, this one really surprisingly was from next and it was 62 pounds it's really nice and long um, it feels really nicely made and yeah i just love it so have a look at the side of me and see how I've styled it up. And I think it's another one that I'm actually going to keep in my wardrobe. Now, I appreciate that the teddy coat is for those really, really warm, um, warm, cold winter days. So taking it down a notch, let's say that some jeans and a white t-shirt on, okay? And you just need to go and nip down to the shops you don't want to change your whole outfit. Um, as long as you've got another item that is a lighter weight, then you just grab that one instead of the big one. So grabbing another one again from Next. This was 48 pounds. Now I apologize, I should have ironed this before I um, put it on to show you all. Um, and actually that's a really good point. There's so many times that I go into a client's wardrobe and their wardrobe is really ruined by the fact that they haven't ironed some key pieces. It just makes a piece not look as good, as, as good and as, as, as polished really. But anyway, back to this piece. I actually really like this. I think it's really got a place in most people's wardrobes because it's, it's heavy enough to um, throw on and keep you warm, but equally it's light enough that you could layer. So I wouldn't think anything of putting a leather jacket underneath that like that and layering up that looks really good or putting a long cardigan underneath it um yeah and it's just great layering tool really that i think is really important to have in your wardrobe um but equally on those lines sometimes you don't even want a coat so this is where something like the long cardigans um fit in so this one is from Mango. Now, when this arrived, A, it arrived with a tie on it, a dressing gown, so and it looked really dressing gowny on. And then I whipped off the tie and I couldn't decide whether I liked the color or not. I kept going between um, whether it looked diarrhea brown or actually whether it was more of an autumnal brown and I quickly realized that if you keep it really fresh underneath with a white top and maybe some blue jeans as I've styled it in some of these videos um, clips coming up then it actually looks really really nice and the colors really deep 
And the good thing about this cardigan, and I, I will say it was expensive, it was £89 for this cardigan. Um, so it is a bit of a purchase, but these sort of cardigans, it's like in a, um, I think it's a viscose, yeah, 41% viscose and 34% polyamide, but they don't bobble. Um, the alternative one that I picked up was again from Zara, really lovely knit. But I guarantee that once I have worn that five or six times, that will be completely bobbly and it will go from my um, main wardrobe into my sort of pyjama slopping around the house type of wardrobe. Um, I will just tell you though that that one was $29.99 and yes, it looks nice on, but it's not going to last as long as this one. Okay, so have I made my point that lighter weather, little bit heavier winter weather it means if i've got three jackets or four jackets all in the same color way i don't have to change my outfit up i just change my outerwear to make it appropriate for the event or wherever i'm going so continuing along with the camel theme i just thought i would show you a few more options that are out there at the moment that came up really really nice um another zara one now, this is looking a little bit um, jaded now because this is last year's version. Um, but this has been great. Again, it's from their premium um, quality range, which is their handmade range. And it's been beautiful. It's kind of like a, a bit sort of herring bone -y. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not. Again, I prefer more of a structured shoulders. I think it flatters my shape better. Um, and it's been a really, really great coat for just for throwing on for every different occasion. Um, if I can't, I can't kind of say enough that you've got to make your coats work for you and don't just keep them for best. You know, a long coat and a pair of joggers actually looks really quite cool now. But anyway, back to this. So this is the Emma Willis collection and really dark autumnal brown colour structured it's got the tie on but you'll see i think in the clip at the side you'll see how i've styled it up um but actually i preferred it when i styled the tie behind and left this a little bit open i found that when i put the tie on i felt really quite um shapeless around that middle section now a tie does work well if you've got a really small petite waist or if you're trying to give yourself a waist um, but just be a little bit careful that if you're quite uh, rotunda around this middle bit, then I would avoid a tie around your middle section. But yeah, I really, really like that. And I was really surprised. I thought it was really nicely made. So I had that in a size eight, which fitted perfectly. And it's 85 pounds from the Emma Willis collection. Oh, talking about the Emma Willis collection. One coat that hasn't arrived today that I was dying to show you, they are doing this long green khaki sort of dog walking and um, school run type of coat. It's super long, it's shower proof, definitely, I'm not quite sure about waterproof, and it's just really, really stylish, but it's sold out everywhere. It was due back in on, um, I think it was meant to be last week, but I'm still waiting for it to arrive. Um, but if you do see that, have a look, put an order in for it, and it's really, really great, okay? Um, right, another look to show you. This is what we call a shacket. So half a jacket, half a shirt. Um, really, really popular this season, and they are brilliant just for throwing on for a layering piece. I reckon I bought probably five or six shackets to show you on this video and only one has made it here. And this one is from H&M and it's in an extra small. Now, all of them I bought in either small or extra small because um, they all come oversized, but even the extra small in some of them were ridiculous. So um, this is a really good one. It's kind of like felty grey, but it's really nicely made. It's got little pockets here. And yeah, I just really like the styling of it. So that's another option as a layering tool this winter. 
So there's so many more coats that I want to show you, but um, it's gonna make the video way too long. Um, particularly sort of dog walking coats, things like that. Maybe I'll make a, a separate video. Let me know in the comments whether you want that type of thing and I can show you sort of how to wear a nice barber or um, a nice puffer jacket or something on, on those lines. But that's it for today. So the main point I want you to take away is don't keep your jackets, your sort of posher jackets for best, layer them up, don't be afraid to wear them with trainers. Um, and also when you buy your winter jacket, make sure you buy two or three other pieces of outerwear in different weights and different fabrics so you can easily swap between the two. So you've always got something to wear for all of your lifestyle needs. So thank you for watching the video today. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Um, if you've got any ideas for any videos that you want to see, please put them in the comment boxes as well. And I will see you again next time. Thank you.